this is a pinion pine and it's been killed by bark beetles as you can see the uh, the small holes uh, in the tree and so the bark the bark beetles aren't that big are they they're sort no. of small yeah they're about a, they're about a quarter of an inch to half an inch I think where they get and they, so they attack basically the bark to, to cause the death of the tree no they bore into the bark and I think then they and, start uh, boring into they, the wood but the trees use sap to squeeze them back so out. Are for they sure. wanting to consume yeah. the sap or is it that they're they're looking for other nutrients some, uh, no, somewhere in the they're tree? They're looking for other nutrients, but oh, the tree's defense is to squirt them out with sap. But the problem oh, I, is yeah. the problem is that we've been in such a drought here for the last fifteen years or so that there's not enough water to produce enough sap to squeeze them out. And so by losing all the sap the trees die. So they don't attack the small branches so much. It's basically the main, the main trunk that they no, go for. No, it's the it's it's the branches too. See, look at this. See, I mean, well now, see here, see the the line of even the being branches eaten there? they've attacked. Yeah, you see what and I'm talking they about. Stink beetle. They're the only friendly beetle out here. They pop up. They 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 pop up with their ass up in the air. Yeah, but you can handle them there. They're one of the few right, creatures right. out here you can handle them. But the other one you told me about him, that's true, I talked, I read up on him. He injects cyanide into your skin. Oh, the other one. We better get going. I don't want to drive the pickup back. 